voice. Look! No way. Everyone will be arriving soon. Mom, Grandma. Yes, she'll be here too. I'm sure she'll be here once she's able to calm down. Oh. Why? Why? <laughs> Why? That was your father in the video just now, wasn't it, Yoshizawa-san? And the one he was speaking to. Mm. Sumire, my younger sister. Sumire Yoshizawa. I mentioned to you that I've lost a family member, right? But how was this video... I'm sorry. I don't know what's been wrong with me lately. I've been getting this feeling like... Like I need to remember something, but at the same time, I oughtn't remember it. Hmm. Can you still walk, Yoshizawa-san? Whatever it is that's happening, we have to keep going if we hope to learn more about it. Yes. I'm alright. Let's go. Hey. When was it that you said you became acquainted with Yoshizawa-san? I see. Anyway, let's move out. I suspect we still have a long way to go. This place is enormous. What could this room be? Uh, you seem to be in pain again. Are you alright? Uh, I'm fine. It's just that... I can't stop thinking about that video we saw earlier. You mean the one about Sumire-san? Yes. Let's keep pushing. I need to find out why that was shown to me. You are misguided. Do not search for pain. Only tragedy awaits you beyond here. Huh. A newcomer. All these warnings of pain and tragedy. Who is your ruler? Why do you all think you know so much about me? If you won't give me an answer, then I'll just force my way through. into things just calm down oh I'm sorry this is it time your attacks with mine uh, right persona Such a fool, rejecting our Lord's mercy. In that case, witness it for yourself. Now what? Oh wow, the crowd is going wild. Their cheers are shaking the stadium to welcome a new heroine to the world of competitive gymnastics. Huh?
Oh, I have no intentions of stopping. It's my dream to compete and win at the international level. How wonderful. One last question. Is there anyone you'd like to give a shout out while you have the chance? Yoshizawa-san? Your... I really hope this helped you understand. A man's voice. If you keep pushing on like this, you're going to find nothing but heartache. Please, won't you stop fighting this and just return to the current reality? Nothing but heartache, huh? I don't understand what you're saying, but I have no intention of leaving now! We are in agreement there. We also refuse to do as you say. Now why don't you drop the big voice behind the curtain act and face us directly? As you wish. down. I'll meet you there. He agreed to that much more readily than I expected. Perhaps the palace's ruler really will make his appearance. Thanks for your concern. But I'm fine, really. Let's go. Kasumi Yoshizawa, eh? Is he this palace's...? It's been quite a while, hasn't it? Dr. Maruki! Glad to see you're all doing well. I pretty much figured that you would end up infiltrating this place. Truth be told, this isn't how I was hoping we would meet again. Dr. Maruki, you're the ruler of this palace? Palace? A place where distorted desires manifest. We're asking if you're the source of the desires here. Ah, I see. Well, to use your own words, yes, I am this palace's ruler. But in my case, it seems a tad different from the ones you've seen. Would we also be correct in believing that you're involved in the abnormalities outside the palace as well? Yes, you would. Do you like the reality I created for you? You created it? That's right. I have gained the power to alter reality. To make it whatever the people wish for. Is that how you really feel? The old reality was cruel and unfair. The truth is, Yoshizawa-san suffers immense pain each and every time she taps into her forgotten past. My... past? Dr. Maruki? What do you mean? What's happened to me? Alright. I had honestly hoped that all those warnings you were given would change your minds. But if it's your true desire, then I want you to recall who you really are. And I want you two to learn as well, once you have. You'll need to choose between the two realities. The merciless one, or the one I've formed. That's... Today was brutal, huh? Oh. Feeling okay? 
It's not that. <sighs> Why am I doing so bad? I keep messing up my routine. Your growth spurts just changed your eye level. You'll get used to it. Look, you're as tall as I am now. <laughs> we practice the same amount. Uh, but you are the one who always gets first place. I can't catch up to you, Kasumi. You know why? Because it's my right as the elder sister. We're in the same grade, though. Oh, don't be so down. We'll reach the top of the world together. That's our dream, right? You don't get it. Huh? You'll never understand how I feel. What? <laughs> Kasumi, if I were like you, things would be so much better. <clears throat> hey, wait up! <clears throat> Kasumi's the one that people want. Look where you're going! The light's red! Hey! Yeah! The talented one who can reach the top of the world. Sumire, stop! Listen to me! Sumire! Seems you remembered. That's right. I'm... Kasumi? No. That's not right. I'm... I'm not Kasumi. The girl named Kasumi Yoshizawa is currently deceased. It was last spring. Before I started at Shujin, we were walking home from practice. It happened right there, on that street in the video. I wasn't looking where I was going. And Kasumi, she protected me from the car. I was saved by Kasumi. I robbed her of her dreams, and even her life. I'm her younger sister, Sumira Yoshizawa. I'll take over from here. After all, I do play a part in this story. Her real name is Sumire Yoshizawa. She's Kasumi-san's younger sister, but for months now, she's only seen herself as being Kasumi Yoshizawa, her deceased elder sister. Of course, it was only her cognition of herself that changed. So to the people around her, she was still Sumire-san. For some reason, though, there were a few rare exceptions to this. Did something happen to make you believe she was Kasumi-san? It appears you were clueless, but she was Sumire Yoshizawa from the start. However, when we watched that other video, she gave her name as Kasumi Yoshizawa. Considering such an odd claim, I'd actually suspected for a moment that she was the palace ruler. After Kasumi died, but before I started at Shujin, I received counseling from Dr. Maruki. That was when I told him. If Kasumi is gone and can't make her dream come true, then I want to become Kasumi so I can turn her dream into reality for her. So that's why you meddled with her cognition? For her own wishes? That's right. Limited as it was, 
I already had the power at the time to actualize her wish. Put yourselves in her shoes for a moment. Sumire-san's older sister died from protecting her. Imagine surviving such a dismal tragedy. Who would be able to cope with that survivor's guilt, let alone heal from the emotional scarring that she suffered? If Sumire-san can live a healthy, positive life by becoming Kasumi-san, then I believe that reality is what would make her happy. I've had enough of your high and mighty rationalization. All you really did was use her to try and make everyone acknowledge the validity of your research. So that's how you see things, huh? That's quite unfortunate. Of course I wanted society to acknowledge cognitive science through my research. But that's because my goal is to save everyone in the world like Yoshizawa-san by ending all suffering. <sighs> My work will convert the wishes of the people into reality. Even as we speak, my research is coming to fruition. No one will ever have to suffer again under the yoke of an unfair world. This... palace, you called it? It's a place where its ruler's desires take physical form, yes? I wish to utilize my research to save humanity. I suppose that would be the desire I hold dearest. What total nonsense. You could very well be right. Still, I'm entirely serious about changing our imperfect reality. Just as she was saved by becoming Kasumi, I'll save every other person in the world currently suffering. In fact, it's my responsibility to do so. You can see how this world's bestowed the duty upon me. I don't know for certain. It'll most likely be treated as if it never existed. The cruel reality will cease to be, and the reality I generate will be the sole world recognized by society. And you assume we'll buy into your brainwashing and just live in the palm of your hand. Honestly, that sounds absolutely revolting. All right, so that's your answer, Akechi-kun. How about the others? Yoshizawa-san, allow me to ask you yet again. Which reality is it that you wish to inhabit? Huh? If you so desire, you can return to your life as Sumire. But if you'd rather continue your life as Kasumi, I can grant that wish for you as well. Dr. Maruki... I... <laughs> it's impossible. I'm sorry. Senpai, I... I can't go back to being her. I can't be the one who led her sister to her death. Please don't judge her. This is just evidence of how painful life is for her. You two sense doubts forming in the reality I manifested. That's what brought you here. But please, remember this as well. You two aren't excluded from the people that I wish to save. Come now, won't you accept my reality for your own happiness? No deal so far, huh? think you're doing with her? I won't harm her. It's in her best interest that you turn back. You've made clear that you reject the reality she desires. The reality where she lives as Kasumi Yoshizawa. <sighs> it saddens me when you speak that way. Don't you understand? You deny her wishes when you say such things. Her wishes, huh? This isn't just for her. I'm doing all of this for yourselves as well. I honestly do want to come to terms with you. We should talk. Think about it. You both have dreams, no? I have the power to make them come true. My reality can become just the way you like. 
total waste of my time. A shame, but I understand. Well then, we just have to resort to force now, don't we? Violence is not my thing. Agree, though. It seems we're out of options here. <sighs> Time to fight. Are you ready? Keep up and don't embarrass me. Quit running your mouth already. I'm going to shut that thing up. Give me a hand. Move! Let's go! Out of my way! Crawl! You little shit! Shall we continue this? I'm fairly certain any further negotiating is pointless. That seems to be the case, unfortunately. But first, I have an idea. Rather than explain it with words, I'd like you to actually see this new reality with your own eyes. I know that your friends are already enjoying it. Hmm. That I cannot do. As I said before, she wishes to live in the reality where she is Kasumi. There's no way I can hand her over to you with matters as they currently are. I already told you that I won't harm her, and I'll swear by it. Don't worry about her. Go. Look at the reality I've created for you all. Once you've seen the results, I know you'll realize which future is best. You think we'll just obey your orders? I apologize, but you really are going through with this, even if it's by force. We'll meet again one week from today, January 9th. I genuinely pray that you'll change your mind by then. He got away. We shouldn't chase him too far. Let's say we head back for now. I had spent all that time investigating the people around you so I could set you up. To think Takuto Maruki of all people would be the mastermind behind this absurd situation. 
and he happens to be warping the very fabric of reality while ranting about making everyone's dreams come true. Talk about incomprehensible motives. I can't even wrap my head around such intentions. At any rate, we need to figure out our next steps. Don't you think it'd basically be suicide to try and save her in our current state? We need intel first. If we're going to stand up to him, we have to know more than nothing. I'll do some investigating on my own. I hate that we have to do what he says, but Maruki told us we have to wait until January 9th. Let's meet up here next week. Although, I imagine both our lives will be very different if you choose to live in this reality as your friends have been. <laughs>